welcome back to the Scarlet Cascabel. Where I've just blown up the uh, entrance to the South Mines here. Let's see if I can make the jump over there. Hello? <laughs> Someone there? Let us see. Here now. Where these mines go. These glowy crystals, I say. There's a thing there. Sounds vaguely zombie like, but it didn't look zombie like, does it? Green gems. Oh, it's the ghost of a miner. Well, he still got his lantern too, which is uh surprised the lanterns didn't go out, I guess. I guess ghost miners, lanterns, oh, he's got a ghost pick as well, yeah. I guess different laws apply when you're a ghost. Fuel is not so much a problem, alright, how am I going to get through here? I can get across. I could go down, but I'm not sure yet that I'm ready to do so. Oh, there's one right there. Almost didn't see him, is there? Uh, a little bit transparent. Not too happy to be disturbed. All right. Well, there's definitely uh, some valuables here. There were, I guess, it's the, the green gems or flash bombs. Famous green gems from this mine, I suppose. I wonder if I missed any others in the walls up there. Hello. Lost Temples, people were saying. That looks like a Lost Temple, but before... Sorry mate, it's just like... Didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> before I check that out... Let's go back to this mine. Turn around and he's gonna walk around there, so a bit of patience. I want to check the lower level of the mine before I leave it. You know, undead, shmundead, there's there could be loot down there. And we haven't yet reached our loot goal, so even if it's not mere greed, it's actually practical for the mission. Sorry mate, sorry. So, I can see how we can get... Well, I guess how do we get back up again? It's easy. Just let's, let's 
leave a rope handy, shall we? So he's going back and forth. Oh. This is uh, some graves. Uh, I don't want to be stuck here with him. See me, all right? Oh, now he lost me. Well, that's a bad place for a rope because it's uh, a little hard to see. Let's put it here. Right, so I want to pick that lock. I wonder, can I break these crystals? See if there's anything down that tunnel. That's one of the graves, so it's a dead end. And we need to pick the lock. Alright. He's kind of. Well, I was going to say he's kind of calmed down, but uh, not very much. He didn't actually see me. I know he's seen me now, and I'm stuck. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, that's not, not too successful. Let's get out of his line of vision. He'll forget about me soon enough. Ouch. I suppose I could flash him. I've got five flash bombs, right? Oh, well, still alright. Patrolling now? Oh, he's still searching. Oh no, he's patrolling. He's, he's mining the mining away there. So where does he go next? Oh, there's more graves. Got some mining, he goes and oh. turns around. All right. Oh, <laughs> it, was, it was mines. We. We came to the mines and found some mines. Alrighty. Uh, which way are we going? Further south? No. No, we're trying to get out the other side of this. Yeah, out here. Circle. I don't care if you heard that. He can't get us in here. So there is the rumors of a mysterious temple in the woods were true. Well, it's mysterious as to how you get there. Although, hmm. I guess one of the miners broke their way through and found this place. What is this place? 
go. It bodes well, doesn't it? Seventy-four. Well, our loot goal is fifteen hundred. Which uh, I must say seems remarkably high. If uh, we make it out, my stuff. Oh, oh, I can stand on the lily pads. Okay, good to know. Well, let's get back up there. Go in there in a minute. Finish checking out this upper area. <laughs> Firstly, there's this pool, which has nothing in it. I'm kind of surprised no one else has found this place, but I imagine what happened is that the miner who found it, that, well, that's his skull we see there. I don't know what happened to the rest of him. Well, I see more button, well, more than one miner. I see more parts of him. Another one died down here. A rune disc. It's got a horn. Oh wait! That... That's... That's, uh... Marcus. The dwarf. Short of stature indeed. He doesn't even have knees. But they said he always carried a horn. Yeah, hello there. I'll... What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, it's a, it's a throne, a seat, a giant chair. Okay. Hello. Ivy covered statue with the same strange bearded face. And very creepy sounds. And there's another passageway. way. Oh, well, another question is anything valuable at the foot of the statue, but I don't think so. Oh, hello, there's a something there. What is that? I don't know, but it's Probably important. <laughs> See where this takes us first. Okay, we're up above the pool. Could maybe climb out there. What 
gems, a flash bomb, and a rope arrow. Hmm. Oh, I see. There's a whole. Uh, there's a whole passageway up there. Okay. It's hard, very hard to see where rope might go exactly. Nope, not there. Oops. Oh, I, that wasn't wasn't gem, right? So where would a rope actually connect to? Was that wood? Looks like wood. Yeah, alright. Now, before I run up there, what is the deal with the statue? And this, and in fact, this rune. What was it? Rune thingy. Rune disc. It gets, it should be used somewhere, but. Does it sit in one of these? Is one of these missing a rune disc? Indeed it is. And the statue levitates. I think the passage underneath it will be open. Let's see what it was hiding. The second Jade Idol. I wonder where the third one is. Ouch. Oh, that's those uh, fairy flies. Sting and bite, yeah. Alright, well, let's keep away from them. Alrighty. Back to this passage then. I guess this maybe takes us to the mill. A good one, Garrett. Very good. Yes, this is the window we could see from the mill. I'm gonna guess that we can find another way out and I don't need that rope again. Millstones at rest. Hang on. Oh wait, maybe I can get higher? Maybe I should get higher. Yeah, there's a, there's a roof up there. Getting stuck on. Why can't I go? Oh, there's a pipe there. All right, so I don't need the rope. <laughs> Toilet. Now someone said some kind of entity in here, right? That's the log we saw. Just a few sightings. They began to encroach more and more. What was Marcus went missing? Yeah. Well, we know where he went missing to now. Still, this place just seems abandoned rather than haunted. More flash bombs. I'm not sure that's a good sign. I'm not really keeping this locker. The hotel map. Well, we 
we've got uh, all our objectives then, except loot. Because that goes down into the basement. Again, the other half of the basement, I guess, where the actual millstones are. Hello. Is that a thing? Some something wobbling around way down there. I don't know what. See, that's some kind of entity, alright. Wonder if flash bombs will uh, do anything for it. No, it's going back. Oh! It's broken down the, the door of the mill. We're outside now. Okay, I wonder when that happened. That's alright, we can uh, make our way back then. Just don't let the thing find us. However, we still do not have enough loot. We are 46 away from the uh, requirement. <laughs> we didn't see any more in the mill. Still two, well we've been in the middle, okay now we know. Still two more uh, thingamies. Two more places in the village I couldn't get to. There's also a house south of the village. Oh hang on, it's the wrong way. We're going the wrong way entirely. I thought I was going into the village, but nope. Is that just the root tree? Yeah. Carrot. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, is there any treasure behind the waterfall? Hang on a second. You know, I was just saying that facetiously, but then... That looks like, to me, like treasure behind the waterfall. So how do we get there? Anywhere that a rope arrow would attach. Maybe. Nope. Let's just test a few other. The plants are growing out of the solid rock there then. So there's a passageway. I mean, there's a passageway down the bottom, but it didn't seem to connect up to there, up to this level. Oh, hello. This is new. More green gems there. Definitely everywhere in this first. Oh, hello. More fairy flies. So how do we get there, so... Can I stick a rope in there? Nope. Oh. This is all the way back here. Let's do that again then. One there, one there, 
And then there is the other green, the other jade idol up there. How do I get there, though? Not like that. Can I jump from that onto one of these other? Let's try that. Nope. How do I get that? Try that jump again. I was expecting to mantle, not to just land on top of it. Right. Right, wait till they're going down again. Then make the jump. And actually prop the thing as you as you go through the air. That'll do. All right. Um. Oh, is this where I saw the loot through the waterfall from? Just through this hole. I guess so. Yeah. There's the one on the wall up there. Alrighty. So. It's interesting, the, uh, three, the three Jade Idols is an optional objective, but uh, I don't know how I would reach that loot goal without it. It's, uh... like we've only just, with all three of them, cleared 1500, which is interesting. We were at, what, 46 short, that's worth, I don't know, not quite 150, maybe 150? Where's that? Where's that? Where's my arrow? Alrighty, head back east to town. And we should need to go north through the Witchwood, I guess, and maybe, maybe south. When your other objectives are complete, get some gear at the weapons shop on your way out of town. So maybe that is the southern end of town. Oh, well, this is the mill again. Alright, yeah, we passed the mill on the way to town. That's right, this is the way to town. Well, good thing I got lost coming out of the mill, because I wouldn't have remember, would not have remembered to go back there. I mean, yes, it's me. Why isn't it dark in the forest? It's like, it's like daylight in here. How did I get past him last time? Jump in there. Oh, that's right, he was going further away. <clears throat> yeah, right, okay, so I've been here. Wait for him to go back. I'm just sneaking into town. See, I thought the town guards were supposed to be more or less friendly towards us, and it was Lashes men we had to watch out for, but who knows, maybe not. Alrighty. So, I guess we head out the south side of town, or head out the weapon, get some gear at the weapon shop. That's Lash. Where was the weapons shop? It's a bakery. This is 
people at my house I haven't been into, but there's a key on the wall. I'm gonna just try breaking the door down, because I don't know how else I'm getting Oh, he hurt. Oh, they've heard something. Well, we can't lock the door anymore, but we can <laughs> use up the key on it. Hello. That looks suspicious. Also looks hot. No, it doesn't. Can't put it out. Not a waste. Oh. Interesting. That's the pest spider, these tunnels, okay. So that's how you get in. You're not meant to break the door. I see, all right, well. I've done it now. Sorry about your lock. Aren't you lucky it's a locksmith in town? Right, notes on that one. Lamp lighters haven't been to. It was in town here somewhere in the middle. This one. You know what? No one's gonna notice that like everyone's deaf in this town. <laughs> Subtle, Garrett, subtle. Oh, look, well, there's his key. He has no money. Who can I hear wandering around then? Sitting on the floor. sales expenses. Two pewter candlesticks, 10p, one hanging lamp, 25p. Four gold candlesticks at 50g each. One lies in use, 75p. Note, get toilet paper. I can't believe I have to traipse to the tavern just to use the bathroom. Who ever thought a building this narrow was a good idea? Four gold candlesticks. Where do you keep your four gold candlesticks? Oh, hello. He has a roof. I'm gonna go back down. Oh, he's just got a window there. So there are a few windows that are. Oh, and a beam above it. I am blind. Can I get it off there without falling to my death? Good. Where do you keep your four gold candlesticks then? Uh. Ouch. Alright, whatever. Right, that. I only see non-gold candlesticks. I am upset with you, sir. If I hadn't already knocked you on the head, now I would have to because of my how upset with you I am. Where's that healing fruit? Have I used it already? Oh yeah, all my healing items used up. All right. Uh, it's not in these cupboards. See where that other window takes us. <laughs> oh, there's a 
some money. Keegan, remember to stash our savings upstairs. We don't want you know who to take everything. I've had my eye on those fancy gummies boots the Tinker sells with leather so soft and plush you could use them to dab the tears of a wee babe. Just think what a dandy I'll be, bashing around town in my new boots. Indeed. Oh, so that doesn't connect to anywhere I can get <laughs> from here. Is there a safe way down? Yes. Alright, what is that? 1700. Okay, so that's probably the right answer is how you get to 1500 without without the gold statues, or without all three of the statues anyway. So that's every house I've been to. The gate was in the south. I guess the weapon shop is out of town. On the other side of the safe. Uh, gates. Wait. This is a way out of town I've not been. Let's wait for the guard to come and go. Carrot, get back into the darkness. You had a dark spot a minute ago. Don't come across the bridge, mate. Just turn around and go back. Right, so pretty much everyone in the town is either uh, has been robbed or is unconscious. Seems like a good time to uh, head out of town before the locals realise who's visited them. It's a weapon shop. <laughs> well, I guess I have to go in the front door. Don't see anything now. Thought I saw something. Captain Doodle. Oh, you, you did see something. That's it. You've had it. <coughs> well, I'm sorry, Captain Doodle. <coughs> Beast that straight into the town during the last fall, felled with my hammer in one blow. Grey beast, not grey beast. I mean, it's kind of yellowish grey. So, this isn't the weapon shop, this is uh, Toodle's place. I'll take his food. He doesn't seem to have much in the way of money. Two small coins. Oh. Hell. You're super jumpy. I'm like a mile away from you. Right onwards. This will be the weapon shop. Right, the other guy had to the Blackwell Hotel. All right, I guess I know where I'm going next. Music's too loud again. Alright, um. No, there is a whole ton of loot I missed. 900 odd. Wow, okay. I thought I looted everywhere I could find, but 
As usual, I am not scouring anywhere near hard enough. Okay. Onward to the Blackwell Hotel. The Scarlet Cascabel is at the hotel. Make it yours. The proprietor is a Blackwell and may have information about the Cascabel. See what you can find out. Retrieve Nightingale's stone tablet piece and find out what it's for. The hotel register should tell you what room he's in. Once all your objectives are complete, return to where you started. No difference on the different difficulties, so I'll stick it hard. And is this the weapon shop? This is the weapon shop. Free tip. When suggest stocking up on water arrows and left you a free tip. I'll take a free tip. A hot tip. The weapon shop owner suggests buying extra rope arrows and offers to sell you a tip. Cost 25. Suggest buying extra rope arrows. That's actually a good tip. Because I've got one. What happened? So, um, unfortunately, I'm not keeping my loot from last time. It would be really nice to keep my loot from the last mission and be able to buy additional stuff. But, oh well. Uh, I'm going to need a healing potion. I'm probably going to need flash palms. Buying extra rope arrows. Well, let's buy one more at least. What else? 826. We've only got two water arrows. Two of those would be good. Probably need more healing because I'm probably going to fuck up a bit. Gas arrows are too expensive. Broadheads, I've got three. Probably not planning on using any. I can fill up on broadheads if I want. Let's get another flash bomb. Suggest buying extra rope arrows. Alright, let's have three of them total. Get another water arrow and a broadhead drop. Sure. Already. Acquire the Scarlet Cascabel. See if the proprietor has information about it. Retrieve Nightingale's stone piece and return to where you start. Now we do have a map of the hotel. And I guess I'm starting right about here. That's a big place. This is the one that they said was haunted, right? Yeah, so we're starting in the southwest here. Alright. What is it? What's this? What's Wen's tip? The main areas of the hotel are lit by gas lamps, so put those water arrows to use, Taffa. Yeah, thanks, Wend. At least you didn't make me pay for it, so that's right. Thank you. Hot tip. Rumor has it some prankster in the hotel likes to hide valuables in hard-to-reach places, so your rope arrows will come in handy. All right. Leave some evidence behind. Actually, that's really bad. We shouldn't leave evidence where people can find it, right? Let's, uh... Make sure no one's gonna find the evidence anytime soon. We wouldn't want this robbery to lead back to wind for sure. We'd never hear the end of it. Alright. What kind of guards do they have in the hotel grounds? Seems none. It's a very Victorian Gothic manor. Oh, hello, somebody's at the front door. Now, did he just say, I'm not shooting him, just looking? Oh, I mean, it's, it was 3 a.m. back in the town. Like, you're still expecting new guests to turn up at this time of night? Surely they can just bang on the doors. Hello? Somebody's dropping uh, green gems everywhere. Basement seems like a good way in. Oh, staff is still up and about there. Well, there's more basement further down. All right, well, let's keep going then. I do need to remember to look up a lot. Why is this ominous? There's something in there. More mines? Uh, we don't have a map of the basement at all. Just to... All the basement does come out here as well as there. I don't know, what's this? 
Letter of resignation. Rough draft. Dear sir, every day I tend to the hotel repairs and then some. I am no gardener, yet I do this work for free. I'm no bellhop, backwasher, or bobbin sorcerer either. But even that doesn't bother me as much as the constant accusations that the toolbox has gone missing again. I return it after every shift without fail. There seems to be a prankster about, or I am deliberately being framed. Consider this my letter of resignation. Ah, uh, maybe I should sleep on it. I hate job hunting. proper already. to the basement. Less like basement, more like tunnels. Uh, a deep pit, I guess. I guess they probably just dump rubbish down here. Like thieves ah! that they don't want. Rubbish. Rubbish, Garrett. You are rubbish. Try doing that without falling to your death. Damn barrels a little in the way. Alright. I wonder if there's something over there. Let's try. <laughs> try getting over there. Without completely dying. Careful. I don't know if I have the health to do it. To get there. With the jump here, it seems a little too far to fall, so. <coughs> And that was too far. Hello. More gems and another rope arrow. Okay, that's four. That should be plenty for getting up high where uh, things are also relevant for getting back. Oh wow, it's dark. Barely even see this beam I came on. So who was just dropping? Who, who climbed down here and dropped some gems? Seems bizarre. <laughs> Could be a story behind it. Can I make a jump? This is where I came in. Hang on. Can you hear someone in the kitchen, which I'm gonna need a key to get to the kitchen. Don't forget the loot in the kitchen fireplace. Oh, we do have uh, two maps. Three maps. Look, whoa. This is enormous. Ground floor, second floor, third floor. It's enormous and it seems very oddly shaped. The floors don't seem to line up at all. And there's a basement map. Okay. Um, 
Right, we need a key here. Let's just, let's just mark it on the map. So, yeah, let's go back in there and climb up that ladder again. Come flying off its hinges. Oh well, I'll do that sometimes. Map. So we are should be on the ground floor now. If we came down these stairs, come up a little way. Then I guess we're here. Ish. Or maybe here, the salon. Yeah, we've got windows to the south and the west. Yes. And somebody wandering around in the next room. Someone's lost their luggage here. Tell you what it is about the brightness that's getting me is because they're using the 16-bit lighting and it means the shadows have very poorly defined edges. Visual, visually poorly defined. Alright, so this is the ballroom. Did you see that? that? Oops. How's it bright there? Did you see that there? Should have known. Nothing could get in here. Sir, here's that list of supplies you wanted. As you know, we're running on a skeleton staff right now, and we're falling behind. That new maid Eliza refuses to clean certain rooms again. You can probably guess which ones. She says it's more than her life is worth to go back in there. You can do it yourself if you have to, but it has to be done. We're full of guests and need every room. Every room? Ah, you know what I mean. Okay, but I'm not sure when I'll get to them. I know. Just get to them as quickly as you can. And grease that taffing hall door right away. It's rusting as we speak. The grease is in the toolbox, and I don't know where Cavill left it. Then find him, or find the toolbox yourself, but get it done. Okay, sir. I'll get on it. Grease in the toolbox for the hall door. What was that thing about pranksters liking to hide things high up? Wait, what? Oh god, there's a ledge. ledge that the rope's getting stopping at. It's not big enough to, to stand on, right? I suppose with new mantle it is, kinda. Not to stand on properly, but uh, well, how they don't seem to have left any loot here that I can see. I suppose I can jump because I'm not actually standing properly, I can't crouch. Hey, what's that sound? So it's just a thief falling to his death. What's that? Nothing, nothing. Hmm. Sorry. Oh well. There's nothing to worry about, nothing at all. There's a guy over here, help me!
Where did he go running off to? Who was that there? I, I don't have any money. <laughs> Come on, get him. <clears throat> oh, this enormous brightness it doesn't. It's really dim. It shouldn't be hugely well lit. It's incredibly frustrating. Well, that's a good thing I'm not really bothered about trying to ghost or not. I just like. I'd rather be undetected, but uh, if you take a step into something that looks quite dim and it's actually incredibly bright. Tenth and Tempo, room one vacant, only book last. Two, three vacant. I thought you said you need all the rooms you could get. You've got like half of these vacant. Uh, Mr. David do not disturb. Elias Bookman, room eight, no one has seen him. Ten, Nightingale, he's the one we need to get the thing from. Nightingale's staying in room ten, yeah. Where's ten? Nightingale. Okay, room one is booked last, for some reason. Four, Clovis Ashmole. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll check out all the rooms we can get. Twelve, Clara Rosengast plus security. So there's a guard in room twelve. It's big sweet. What else? Livingston and Entourage. Oh, hang on, 10th of September, 11th. All right, they put more people in. Wait, 12 plus security, 12, no change, okay. Ah, Nightingale, move into room one tomorrow, he asked for it. <laughs> put Nightingale here, okay, so room one is the haunted one. Room eight, may have vacated without paying. Nine, Cornelius F. Monty, room service to bring sample of all menu items. Alright. Are you quieting down now, mate? Are you going to see me as I creep through apparent darkness? Welcome to the Black World, our all-inclusive country of retreat in an atmosphere of refinery. Experience life as did the lords of old. Our hotel is the former home of the great Blackwell family who presided over the surrounding lands and township. Here we strive to set a new precedent, immersing our guests in a setting of historic luxury. Whether a break from your travels or your chosen destination, the Blackwell is a genuine retreat for the truly distinguished. Is someone there? No. Oh. Hey. You're getting spooked over nothing again. There's a curtain, there's a glass window. I Urgent, please grease the tracks on these doors immediately. No. Well, they need greasing and they need. Uh... So I just left a bottle there. And there's a leak. And there's a gong, let's not ring it. The Red Lady of Blackwell Hall, a history. Probably not much point putting up the candles above a fireplace, but you never know. Hello, fruit for the guests. I will eat those. I'll somehow reach those doors. Wow, Garrett, your arms are... That's like... 10 feet long! How do you have 10 foot long arms? Ah, oh, I see what's happened. They've uh, rescaled the doors and that always messes with frog distance. Okay. Very well, very well. Well, let's go here next, shall we? Where are we here? We came. Ah, uh, second one, yeah. Uh, this is a great hall. Wait, so this 
door which leads into the salon where we were. Fair enough, good. Alright, uh, let's check out the gallery. Sure, it seems like a decent place to look for fine art. Agatha Blackwell. Alexander Blackwell. What was that? Charlotte Blackwell. There was nothing. Make yourself comfortable in our fine gallery. Ask our concierge for a taste of house brandy or try a fine cigar imported from Bone. The portraits you see here depict some of the Blackwell family. Alexander Blackwell, the last great lord of his house, amassed a large collection of steel, which you can view in this room and throughout the hotel. A few valuable treasures, once owned by the family, are also on display in the adjacent room. Should have known. Nothing could get in here. Nothing but me. Secret of the Dashing Lady Taker, an erotic mystery as told by Sir Wimpole Peabody. Cigars, snuff, and fine cognac, a gentleman's guide to leisurely living. Well, he doesn't seem to have a purse on him, so. Fine collection of steel, huh? Odd noise there. A few swords. Should have known. Nothing could get in here. Jeweled diadem worn by Lady Elizabeth Blackwell. Counterfeit junk. Right, yes. Valuables. God, you guys are worthless. These silver daggers were presented as gifts to the three children of Lord Myron Blackwell, patriarch of the Blackwell family. Are these also kind of a junk? They really seem like actual silver. I mean, I suppose the stuff that's not locked up, it makes sense it's worthless. You know, why would they leave? It's a hotel, they've got people coming and going all the time. Hello. Oh, we can get outdoors, all right. Before I go out there, we've got another little room there to get, check out, and a diadem, which I can't reach from here. Which I can't reach from here either. Oh, I see. There's a hatch above. Alright, where's what's above this room? The upper floor of the gallery. Let's make a note. Tiny sliver of moon, and yet when it's brightly lit as if it were full. Right, I don't think this is going to get us anywhere new. We'll get us some new valuables. Broken bench. That's the salon where we came in. Hello. The hotel is nearly full. Stay out front and give the staff ample warning of any new arrivals. As for all the luggage lying around, have Kevil take it up. <laughs> oh, you can give him ample warning. What did it say? Hotel staff, okay. Well, I see we could have climbed up here instead of going down to the uh, cellar, and that would let us not come in any of these windows, but I guess we could have snuck behind them to the front door, or come out here on the terrace. Ooh. 
Let's see what I see up there. <laughs> that looks like a way inside. However, before I attempt that shot, I think uh, this is a good place to end this episode. So thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you here for the next episode.